A caps equals equals history equals equals. A caps AV is a Swedish spacecraft propulsion company established in 2000 as a joint venture between the Swedish Space Corporation SSC and Volvo Aero with the goal of developing and commercializing in space thruster technology using a low toxicity ammonium denitramide ADN based liquid monopropellant called LMP 103S. In 2006, ACAPS became a fully owned subsidiary of SSC. In June 2010, the Prisma mission launched ACAPS first flight one and thrusters, which were successfully operated until the decommissioning of Prisma in 2015. In July 2017, SSC sold ACAPS to Bradford Engineering based in the Netherlands, which rebranded the company as Bradford ACAPS. Adoption in industry. ACAPS Technology Thrusters Plus Propellant has successfully flown on the following missions. Thruster Description The ACAPS Thruster Technology produces thrust by thermally and catalytically decomposing, igniting, combusting, and exhausting monopropellant LMP-103S fed into the thrusters reactor. LMP-103S is a green high-performance storable liquid propellant based on ammonium denitramide ADN blended with fuel, stabilizer, and solvent. The thruster is composed of Flow Control Valve FCV A series redundant, normally closed, solenoid valve with PTFE seat material Thrust Chamber Assembly TCA Propellant Transfer Assembly Composed of the FCV interface including two redundant seal eptum O-rings, the feed tube, the feed tube heatsink, and the injector head. Thermal standoff. Structural member between the FCV and the main thruster elements, which serves as a heat barrier. It is sized to suppress severe heat soak back from the thruster to the FCV. Thrust chamber. Houses the staged reactor which houses the propellant catalyst. The thrust chamber upstream side is brazed to the injector head. The nozzle is an integrated part of the thrust chamber on the downstream side and is conical with an exit to throat area ratio of 101. The thrust chamber is made of iridium lined rhenium to withstand the high temperature reaction products of propellant combustion and the resulting thermal cycling. Reactor heater. Reactor heater is embedded in an Inconel tube with a ceramic insulator. The heater is a coiled tube which is integrated into heater carrier, which in turn is integrated via thermally conductive parts into the injector head. Reactor thermocouple. Type K chromal slash alumal and is embedded in an Inconel tube with a magnesium oxide insulator. The thermocouple is used for monitoring and controlling the preheating temperature. LMP-103S Propellant Description Development of the storable liquid propellant blend LMP-103S began in 1997 between the Swedish Space Corporation and the Swedish Defense Research Agency. The top design priorities were to improve performance and reduce handling hazards as compared to hydrazine. Long-term ground storage testing of the LMP-103S propellant in a flight-like system began in October 2005 and has demonstrated no measurable degradation or pressure buildup. Transport is approved as a new n slash tone 4S article. Air transport on commercial flights of the LMP-103S propellant has been performed to the United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, Switzerland, Russia, India, French Guiana, and within Sweden. The propellant is 63. 0% ADN, 14. 0% water, 18. 4% methanol and 4. 6% ammonia by weight. LMP-103S has different properties, than other traditional propellants such as hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. The latter are pure liquids, which except for trace contaminants can be completely evaporated, leaving no residues. 
In contrast, LMP 103S is a mixture comprising a high concentration of ADN, salt dissolved in a mixture of solvents. Evaporation leads to a loss of solvents and thereby a changed composition of the solution. The ADN salt has no vapor pressure, so it only exists in solid or dissolved form. The solution does not have a distinct freezing point, but rather a temperature when the solution becomes saturated and solid ADN crystals will start to form in the liquid solvents. This is, however, a reversible phase separation.